Greetings fellow investigators and lovers of cosmic horror. It's the summer of 2017 and it's hot here in Southern California where I live. I decided this morning to make a short video for our viewers and this is it. When I first started this club, it was with the intention of having a place where my friends and I could play the Call of Cthulhu role playing game, as I stated at the beginning of every video. It's hard to find a good gaming group nearby even when you live in Lovecraft country, which I did for a few years. Fortunately, the internet has changed that. What I never expected was how many people enjoyed watching us play or how many would be interested in joining us. I love this game. It's like reading a book and becoming an integral part of the story. No, that's a simile. It is becoming part of the story and that's not a metaphor. Our concern in the beginning was to have a record of these games, mostly for ourselves. In my case, I love to review. It brings out the detective in me. But at the prompting and the advice of some of our players, we thought it would be nice to spruce them up a bit and make them more presentable. So we started adding some sound effects and music. Those first couple episodes have a rudimentary theme I composed on GarageBand on my Mac. We still use it at the end of Horror on the Orient Express. Some of us have invested in new equipment, new microphones and headsets in order to improve sound quality. We're still having a lot of difficulty with the video quality thanks to our limited internet connections and the quirks and whims of our video chat venue, but we're working on some improvements. We would like it ultimately to be at least of similar quality to a television show. At the moment, we're playing four times a week, assuming we have no postponements or internet problems. So perhaps I, I should say that we strive to produce four shows a week when possible. This is after all a game and not a professionally produced show. Most of the work I do in my spare time, and I'm fortunate that I have a lot of it. Because it has grown, my investment has also grown as well. This January, we started a Patreon crowdfunding campaign that's helped belay a lot of the costs involved in producing our show. I honestly can't express enough my gratitude to our sponsors. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping us find the means to improve our show and to continue bringing it to you. We have, as a reward, began to record our pre- and post-game conversations. We don't usually discuss anything about a game until after the last episode, but some of the shit that does come up is hilarious. In fact, it was one of the strongest reasons for doing it. I found myself laughing so hard one night that I got the dry heaves and I cursed myself for not recording it. On the other side, this means more work for me, but it's worth it. A few months ago, we had our first guest game master, uh, Oscar Rios, who ran a fantastic game from the Cthulhu Invictus series, The Ghosts of Iron Mountain. We've scheduled three more guest GMs, uh, Janice Hill, co-author of Beyond the Mountains of Madness, which we're currently playing on Tuesdays. She'll be running a 1920s Jazz Age game called A Trick of the Light, which is uh, an unpublished scenario she's put together just for us. We have Tyler Hudak, who wrote the scenario we played earlier in the year entitled Castaway Island. He will be running a modern day scenario set in Scotland entitled The Seventh Circle, which we're all looking forward to. And finally, we have the amazing Matthew Sanderson, who will be running something from his World War Cthulhu series set in the Cold War. We don't know exactly which one yet, but I can expect that there will be lots of serious espionage involved. I'm not sure there's anything else for me to say at this point, but thank you all, the players, the GMs, the sponsors, and everyone watching out there for your support and kindness. Please feel free to post comments. We really do love listening to them or reading them. And one final thing. Call of Cthulhu role-playing game was first published in 1981. So we have at our disposal 36 years of accumulated scenarios to choose from and to play for your entertainment. Our ultimate thanks goes to the people over at Chaosium for creating this amazing and wonderful game. And so with that, let me finish by saying what I always say, good luck and good gaming.